Hey, what's going on? My name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to delete duplicate photos on your Mac. I'm going to give you a free few methods to do this and also a paid service that makes it a little bit easier in case you want to just bypass the work yourself. But first, let's start talking about how to do this for free. So what you can do is go to the finder on your Mac, usually located in the lower left hand corner here. And for me, a lot of my files end up on my desktop because I'm messy like that. So what I'm looking at right now is if you click this gear icon drop down here, you can group the uh, files and images and everything on there by different variations. So you can do it by name, kind, application. So what I'm going to do is uh, group these by kind. So what this will allow me to do is I can then see all the images right next to each other. And sometimes what you can see is that in this particular instance, I have this office image from where I work and there's also a copy of it. So they are right next to each other because if you make a duplicate of an image a lot of times on a Mac, let's say we duplicate this one, it just automatically creates that and puts the word copy into the image name right there. So that's a pretty quick way that you can find files that way. Um, but another thing I want to show you that you can kind of mess around with and there's a lot of uh, filters and parameters you can use on it is something called a smart folder. So while you're still in the finder, you can go to file new smart folder. And what you can do with this is a kind of a apply filter. So we're going to click the plus button right here. And here we're going to start with kind and I want images. And I know for my computer that I tend to um, do a lot of screenshots and those are saved as PNG files. So right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all PNG files on my computer. But if you wanna make it even a little bit easier on you, which it is right now, um, you can group it by name and then be able to see all of the uh, files that have that kind, that image um, uh, that are PNGs and also group them by name next to each other. Uh, you can do it by size, which is a great way to do it because then you might be able to find the ones that are a little bit larger and delete them easily. But the nice thing is that you can stack filters on top of each other. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, it actually went right to it, but um, there's a whole bunch of filters you can choose from. But what I'm gonna go to right now is stick on name and I'm gonna say matches and I'm gonna put the word screenshot in here. So now what I'm looking at is screenshots uh, and that's all I'm seeing that are PNGs on my computer. And again, I'm gonna group this one by date added because maybe I don't want to delete newer screenshots and I just want to delete screenshots from yesterday. Uh, I'll let you know I did take a bunch of screenshots before this just so I'd have a bunch to show you in here. So those are pretty cool features that you can do just to kind of make things easy on yourself and be able to apply filters and find the specific files that you're trying to delete. You can do the same thing as earlier and put the word copy in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say all images and there you can see all images that have had the word copy applied to the name of the image. So you can see how you can start to filter down and find different things on your computer that might be specific to what you're doing and what you're looking for. So now that we've addressed a couple of the free ways that you can find and delete uh, duplicate photos on a Mac, why don't we check out a paid service? So this service is called Gemini 2 and it's from MacPaw, which I love MacPaw. They create great products. Uh, actually, at the end of this video, I will link to a uh, review video on Clean My Mac X, which will actually clean up your entire uh, computer if you're using a Mac, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. But what I want to do right now is just show you what the free download looks like. So you don't have to enter your email to download there. And I'm gonna install this on the computer and take you through a very quick uh, review of how this service works and what it looks like from the free model versus the paid model. So we're gonna do one of these, add it to the applications folder. And I found that MacPaw is very smooth in the way that it works. So that's one of the reasons that I really like it. So we're gonna open up the applications folder and we're gonna look for Gemini. And there we are, Gemini 2. And accept the policy. So here we are. Uh, you can see that I can still unlock the full version, but I'm going to scan for duplicates. So the scan has completed. It found 268 megs in found images. So it's saying that these are copied photos. So what I can do is uh, review these in the results. So what you can see here is all duplicates on the left hand side. If I want to just look at audio duplicates, um, you can see that. Uh, images is what you're probably interested in. So I took a bunch of screenshots. So it found the duplicates of those screenshots, as you can see. Um, and this just makes it really easy to kind of see if you have maybe uh, some duplicates here. So this one, it's an intro video that I have at work. 
yeah you can see that one duplicate is selected two duplicates found so that's good to see so I'm just gonna go up to all duplicates and I'm just gonna trust this and click smart cleanup so that's where it hits you with purchase a faster cleanup to remove all selected duplicates from your Mac with one button purchase smart cleanup so I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I'm just curious, uh, basically, what you can do in the free version right here. So can I delete them? How does it work? So yeah, this program, what it's going to do after just doing some research is it's making it so you won't be able to uh, delete any of these while you're inside of the program. You would be able to see that, yeah, there is a duplicate of the lead paint pamphlet. So what you could do is you could go again to uh, your finder or your search function, and I could search lead paint. Uh, pamphlet so yep there you can see that I have the disclosure on there twice the PDF on there twice so if you want to do it on your own you can go through this and make sure that you're not deleting and it's crazy how many times I've, <laughs> I've downloaded this and probably used it for work uh, so I'm gonna move those into the trash but if you're doing it that way, it can be kind of a pain, especially if you have a ton of duplicates. So that's where uh, you might want to look at the smart cleanup and that's where you can buy or enter your activation number. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to enter my activation number and show you what this looks like if you purchase uh, this service and how easy it is to use uh, as opposed to trying to track down each of those individual files. Okay, so I just activated, so I have a subscription now for Gemini 2. So now you can see that the cleanup is complete and that 91 megs were successfully trashed. So if you upgrade from the free version, you're able to immediately just trash all those duplicate photos and files on your computer. So hopefully you have found this video helpful. I appreciate it if you use my link in the description and the pinned comment. Those are affiliate links, so I will make a small commission. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is that if you are interested, there is an app, actually, uh, Gemini Photos, uh, for your phone that you can clean up the uh, photos on your iPhone. And on the screen right now, you will find a video review of that. And also Clean My Mac X, which is a great tool that is made by MacPaw as well on cleaning up your entire computer. So check those videos out and uh, feel free to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. So take care and good luck.